for a lateral projection of the sinuses, you need to ask your patient if there's one side that they have trouble on versus the other. And if they don't, then you can do whichever lateral you want. But if they have more issues, say on the right side, you're gonna to wanna to give the radiologist a right lateral, which is what we're gonna show here. So I've kept the same SID from my other two sinus projections. 72 inch will be fine for the lateral. And my same collimated field is a good starting point, but you need to look at your previous images and adapt the centering to frame a little bit. If your patient has very extensive frontal sinuses that go very high up the forehead, you might need to adjust your collimation a little bit. So I'll show you where I'm gonna be looking for when I'm sort of framing my collimation a little bit. We're gonna start by having our patient get uh, close to the board for a lateral projection here. So we'll, we'll start with your patient sideways, right side close to the bucky for this right lateral. And I want my patient to turn his head toward the camera, toward the x-ray tube as much as you can. And then we'll spin the shoulders, just rotating the chair to get you in a little closer. The cranial line we want this time is the IOML, should be parallel to the floor. You just need to bring your chin down a tiny bit. That's good. For centering, Merrill's has this kind of in between the outer canthus and the EAM, but it varies patient to patient. So I'm going to be using landmarks to kind of dial in my collimation. Light to the EAM will include the sphenoid sinus. Light to the junction of the lips will show all of the uh, maxillary sinuses. And then your light, depending on the patient, could be all the forehead, could be mid forehead. You can adjust your field and line things up. Marker is in front here. Make sure it's not in the frontal bone. That outer table of the skull can be very thin there. You don't want to be putting your marker over the frontal sinus. Do a last check. You look at me. We're going to tilt your head slightly. That's good. And then turn your head to follow my. Stay right there. Just expose on suspended respiration. Okay. 